acknowledge with great pride, and there's an SEIU member or two in the house that I want to acknowledge, those SEIU members helped this uh, accomplishment happen, that we have organized a million new working people in the last 10 years, and we kind of bucked the trend from the decline of the rest of the labor movement, but we also acknowledge that it's no longer possible for us to do well inside of SEIU when everyone outside of our union isn't able to keep up. The imbalance is no longer acceptable in our communities. And we can't accomplish our vision and fight for a more just world and respect for working people if we try and do it by ourselves. It requires us to work across the labor movement and more importantly it requires us to link arms with the rest of the progressive movement if we're going to achieve our vision for America. The second thing is that we've committed to educating our 2.2 million members about who's responsible for breaking our economy. Because it's probably no surprise to some of you that work with us, many of our members believe what the right has been hammering for the last three decades. Many of our members believe that big government and too much spending is the crisis in our economy. And so we have to recommit ourselves inside of our union to exposing how this conservative agenda <coughs> aligned with Wall Street speculators, corporations, and billionaires have actually responsible for breaking our economy. And the third thing we are doing is reinvesting our resources and our political attention to a moment that is bigger than ourselves and to imagine how it is that we restore the labor movement at the same time we restore our communities and our nation. And we are moving outside of SEIU at the city level, the state level, the school board level, nationally, and even in alliance globally with other parts of the labor movement internationally to discuss a shared agenda and plan for the future. This hard work to build new alliances, many of you do, I'm sure, is to win, um, requires us to reach out in a, on a scale that we haven't done for decades. And the results have been astounding. I think American people are hungry for action, for change, and to transform our economy for the common good. We, all of us, need to do our work with a common purpose. We need to band together and understand our shared agenda. We need to rise above the clutter that separates us, the things that have irritated us about each other in the past, and create a broader change for people in this country. Our coordination is necessary, but our commitment to each other's shared agenda and our willingness to build permanent strategic alliances, not coalitions based on the issue of the moment, I think are what's required for success. We need to tell the story of each of our fights as if they are chapters from the same book. We need a common strategy that calls out the game of using the budget crisis to disguise the dismantling of our infrastructure, the defunding of critical public health programs, <laughs> the destruction of our environment and, the, and our democracy by attempting to silence our voices. At the heart of this work is collective action in the political arena, at the ballot box, and in the, in the community arena, at the bargaining table, and on the job in our communities. By uniting all Americans around demands that Wall Street and the wealthy pay their fair share of taxes and do their part to create good jobs for all of us, we can move our communities forward. Our purpose is to build a better America, a country that always looks for the highest public values and doesn't cave in to selfish greed. Because at the heart of this, we are talking about our values. I know that you spent this morning discussing how you lead with your values, but I also think it's a key ingredient to transforming our economies. These values are meaningful in every aspect of our work. They drive us to invest in jobs, to protect community health centers, to build unions, to fight for immigrants, to respect our environment, to look for justice and equality in everything we do. They drive us to run for political office. These values transcend particular issues. They inspire us, but most of all, they guide us. When we go into the public square, we don't have to ask where to stand. We know where to stand, why we stand there, and what is right. Fixing America won't be easy. We have a lot of work to do. 
but I deeply believe the actions of Republican governors and the House Republicans have been the last straw for the American middle class and for working people and all of our communities. And we are gathered here to commit ourselves to meet this moment. We are standing up for a vision deeply rooted in American values, a vision where people share a common responsibility to create communities we can be proud of, where people can get back to work in good jobs that support a family. It's not too much to ask to have a good job that can support a family without having to work too.